You busy? Not too busy. What's going on? Just left Trinity Church. I was thinking about Finn. And... Tell me about it. She saved my life and yours. Everybody's. She's the one who put us in danger in the first place. But after seeing what happened to Rick, I get why she did it. People are messy. Take your Uncle Aaron. He's the reason Krieger's in jail. And he helped us get people out of Harlem. But every time I look at him, I think of all the pain he put your dad through. Yeah. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, Miho. Or her death. Just remember who she was and why you loved her. You always know what to say. <laughs> That's my job. Call me back if you need me. Entiendes? Si. Sí. Te quiero. in Manhattan are kaput, and so are their reactors. Finally, with the labs and Krieger gone, seems like Roxxon's butt has been firmly kicked. I bet they'll be staying out of sight for a while. Good, because I don't want to drain any more reactors. You said it, buddy. But I'm glad we were able to do this together. Me too. Until our next adventure? Which will probably be five minutes from now, right? <laughs> Deal. Wow!
was always this easy. Spiders, man. Monique, how's it look? Mo's not responding. Someone check on her. I got this one. The one bites the dust. Guys? Spider-Man. That'll leave a mark. We're not of you. We need more people up here. Now! Or you could run away other people. That's an option. Gotta be quicker than that.
Watch out for spiders, man. Get out here, Spider-Man! <laughs> the dust. You see me, weapons? You can't win! Miles, I'm catching up on, yikes, kind of a backlog after being away for a few weeks. No rest for the Spider-Man? Nope. Speaking of which, I'm not gonna be swinging behind you constantly looking over your shoulder now that I'm back. I trust you. And I have some stuff I should take care of. Like what? Can I help? I need to find a job. Freelancing with the Bugle was great, but I'd like something steady. Have you thought about teaching? You're pretty good at it. <laughs> Honestly... No. Hmm. No. Maybe. I'll think about it. Call you soon. Really need to sleep. For a scavenger hunt. Dad and I used to do these. Did she make a new one? Check this out. See what mom put together. Check it out of here. 
check out the Natural History Museum. Scavenger hunt's not gonna hunt itself. City Councilwoman, Rio Morales. Has a nice ring to it. I think I'm done in the apartment. Well, uh, your old TV is gone, but never forgotten. <laughs> Haven't been to the museum in forever. I think the last time was with Finn and Dad. Those trips are really fun. It's weird to think about now. Oh man, that's great. I'd love, I mean, he'd love that. <laughs> Gonna tell him now. You're a good one, Spider-Man. See you soon. <laughs> Tail's great, man. I love that guy. Okay, Natural History Museum. Who on the postcard said, face in the park, with the world on our shoulders, we guard the next clue? Hmm. There's a statue of four guys holding a globe at the Central Park entrance. Might be what that clue means. Natural History Museum. Clue on the postcard said, facing the park with 
the world on our shoulders. We guard the next clue. Hmm. Another postcard under here. This one's of the Empire State Building. High atop the Empire State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes. There's a flash drive attached. Hey, big man. Happy birthday. Oh, my God. Yeah. Scavenger hunt seemed like a fun way to celebrate 16. Tour down memory lane. Remember that summer you and Finn forced me to take you to the museum every weekend? Here's a secret. I love those trips. Used to be I felt guilty you didn't have any siblings. Things with your uncle are tough now, but I would have never made it to 18 without them. Anytime I'd see you with Finn, I'd feel less guilty. You have a sister. Her. With Finn, now Genki, you'll always have family. Love you lots, big man. See you at the next place. I haven't heard his voice in so long. I hope he left more messages with the rest of the scavenger hunt. Hey, sleepyhead. Did you find my note? Yeah. I followed the clue and just heard that. Did you do all this? Just the setup. Your dad made the clues last year. I know it's been tough since the move. Thought hearing from him could help. It does. Gracias, ma. De nada. Have fun with him. And remember, I'm here if you need me, Miles. You can tell me anything. Te quiero. Te quiero. Expecting you. Listeners, you all know that I pride myself on truth, integrity, and facts. I've been tough on this new Spider Man since the disaster on Braithwaite Bridge. For good reason. The kid screwed things up so bad, even the original model would have blushed redder than his costume. It's the classic one, not that ugly. But today, I must also acknowledge that the city is rallying around this youngster and proclaiming him uh, a hero. With an unstable energy source on the verge of wiping Harlem off the map, this youthful spider reportedly stepped in and saved the lives. Or at least that's what his supporters want us to think. The real truth is that none of this would have happened if he hadn't... Empire State Building. Let's check the clue. High atop the Empire State, you'll find a pair of blind eyes. Maybe the clues about the binoculars on the observation platform. I got you. Did you put the body on ice? Son of a... Modern Art Museum in Greenwich. I remember that place. Find the fossil hiding among the modern. Don't forget to look up. Hmm. Fifth grade field trip. Empire State Building. I shot <laughs> Never agreed to wrangle a bus full of 10 year olds, son. Took us three hours to get here, and when we did, who showed up? The webhead himself. Battling Vulture. As soon as we stepped off the elevator, we had to turn right back around again and evacuate. 
thing I remember most, though, you wanted to stay. You told me, Spider-Man needs our help, Dad. You're a born hero, Miles. Don't ever lose that fighting spirit. See you at the next clue. Born hero. I think I learned to be a hero from watching Dad. I miss him. Especially now. Hey, got an app report. Civilians being assaulted. Modern Art Museum. I'm the fossil hiding among the modern. Don't forget to look up. Hey, doesn't the museum keep a fossil on the balcony facing the river? Worth a look. <laughs> Next clue. Boom. Looks like I'm going to CODB's. Where money is king, you'll find great tunes hanging among the lights. I had to practically drag you and Finn to the Modern Art Museum the first time you came. What do we care about splotchy paintings? But your mom and I knew. We had to show you kids that there were different ways of looking at the world. Sometimes, radically different. When I saw you two in front of that psychedelic Angela Davis portrait, heads craned up and all, I knew you got it. All that orange. Don't think you have to realize that, that you could look that way. Like royalty. I'm proud of you making it this far. Let's see how you do it the next time. Ben and I talked about that trip for months afterwards. Mom and Dad really knew how to inspire. Too. First we improve and design our own spider suit. Now we build a mobile game empire? We're unstoppable. Never doubted it. I'm out doing spider things, but when I get home, I'll set up a task board, start tracking sound effects you'll need, ooh, and sketching out a score. Yeah, woo! Can you feel that? That's me fist bumping you from afar. Later, dude.
Supplies are being stolen from a police truck. All right, COD base. Let's hunt. Hanging among the lights. Hmm. Maybe it's between the lights and that speaker. Here we go. Restaurant. Nestled beneath Stuyvesant, gives a monster of a good meal. It's been half my youth at CODB, is the uncle. Every musician we loved played at this cramped little stage. Aaron even got up there once himself. Didn't do half bad either. When he finally told me about his night job, this is where he took me to soften the blow. But it poisoned the place for me. Never took you here because of it. I regret that. You'd love it. Just like I did. So, how about this? Find a show you want to see. Anything. My treat. We'll come out here and your old man will show you how I used to bust a move. <laughs> Next clue's all yours, Miles. That was gonna bring me to a show? Man. Yeah. Need a minute after hearing that. I'm getting a lot of reports of a helicopter out of control. What? Hey, bro. I read MJ's front page about some car yet. Not while you were swinging, I hope. Uh, sorry. Scolding mentor mode, downshifting. What did you think of the article? The article was great. The pictures? Eh. Where'd they get this Peter Parker guy? <laughs> I'm sure MJ asks herself that all the time. So how was the trip? Did you have to suit up while you were out there? Nah. Sable handled it like a champ. Her and her wild pack. I mostly got to stand around taking pictures. Sounds like a nice break. As much as a work trip can be. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling refreshed and ready to do some next-level Spider-Man. And clean out the gutters at my house. <laughs> Being a homeowner is glamorous, let me tell you. Sounds like it. I'll let you go. Talk soon.
Lobster bills. Holy ground for dad. Nestled beneath Stuyvesant, there's a monster of a good meal. Pretty sure I know which monster he means. Looking good, Spidey. Next clue must be on Bill the Lobster. Guy is pretty monstrous. Well, here's the clue. Gee, I know this place. The art space on the Upper East Side. No letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. Woo, boy. Lobster beans. Home away from home. Always reminded me of the Graham's Kitchen down south. Took your mom here on our first date. And just about every date after that. Even once when she was pregnant with you. And she went into labor right before the seat. I blame the kids for sure. She was less of a fan after that. But I'm not gonna lie, son. Some of those nights working late. Oh yeah. I'm stopping in for some pride over. Don't tell your mom. Mom totally knew he was stopping here. Let him have his secret. They were a good team. citizens reported a car chase. I'll ping it for you. Police, pull over. Get off my back. You're running out of road. Pull over. That car's swerving like crazy. They'll hit something. Or even worse, someone. I gotta stop them. There's the art space. Okay. No letter enters this artsy castle without stopping at the gate. Should check the gates around the building. Next clue. Nice. Oh, CJ Walker Park. I know this place up in Harlem. Beneath the hoop where you learn to fly, your journey comes to an end. Man, not ready for this to be over. Hey, Middle school graduation. You and Finn joked it felt like a royal coronation when you saw the art space building. Your mom and I were so proud. Our son and our almost daughter graduating at the top of their class. It made you sad, both of you, go to different high schools. But Miles, I'll tell you, the friendships you make when you're young, the real ones, those last. You and Finn will find each other again. Maybe a few years down the line, maybe a few decades. One crew left, but you can't wait to get to the end. Finn and I did find each other again. Not the way Dad thought. <laughs> Voicemail. Numbers blocked. This is it. CJ Walker Park. Beneath the hoop, when you learn to fly, the journey comes to an end. I dunked for the first time. 
This is the last man. So many memories. And so we come to the end. CJ Walker Park. Remember when we played ball here in the summers? Your uncle showed you how to take it to Iraq. Well, I demonstrated how to throw it down with authority. Don't think I'll ever forget watching you and Finn trying to alley you to your mom. This place reminds me that as crazy as life gets, only one thing really matters. The people you love. You, your mom, Finn, Genki, even your uncle. Keep the folks you care about close to your heart, and you'll never go wrong. Happy birthday, big man. You are my reason for being brave. Mom, just finished a scavenger hunt. Thank you so much for putting it together. For a little while, it was like he was back. He never left me home. I love you. I love you, Ma. Been telling everyone how you saved Spider Man. You ready to swing, Spider Cat? You two look great. Get out there and stop some crimes, you two. Voicemail. Numbers blocked. Hey, Miles. I know you're gonna hear a lot about me. Things I've done, now that I'm serving time. I cut a plea deal, so it shouldn't be more than two years. But getting out early, it's not why I gave up Krieger. You told me you had to be better. And that meant looking out for other people, even if it cost you something. I don't have a lot of practice. But I'm trying. Thanks, <laughs> Making me a better man that I can be on my own. Take care out there. Love you, Unc. truck.
Come out. Thanks, Spider-Man. You should go. The police will have you here answering questions all night. We're the PDNY, not a Spider-Man cleanup crew. Then why didn't the PDNY save me? A weapons deal? In progress? I gotta check this app more. Attacking rocks on. Better get there quick before someone's caught in the crossfire. Back up, it's coming! 
apart. I should get out of here. very special episode, I'm joined by newly elected councilwoman Rio Morales of Park, who has been instrumental in the effort to scale back Roxxon's expansion plans following the revelations that they endangered New Yorkers with their highly unstable energy source, New Form. Welcome, councilwoman. Thanks for having me, Mr. Jameson. I have to say, I was surprised when you reached out to my office. My producer, Jared, was insistent that we have you on. Something about needing to broaden our demographics, especially after your recent appearance on another much less popular show. Oh, yeah. Danica Hart was wonderful. My listeners would like to know, how do you plan to bring prosperity to your community? I think I speak for everyone when I say it's an area that has struggled for quite some time. True prosperity isn't brought in from outside by huge faceless corporations. It comes from sustained investment in the people that make our community so special. It's true that folks here have struggled, but that's only because they've lacked advocates in City Hall. I will be their voice. And my hope is with that support, the city and the world will see that we're a vibrant area full of brilliant artists, kind people, and now even our very own Spider-Man. About that, you are now a publicly elected official. You are obligated to serve according to a constitution, laws, and time-tested ethical requirements, which I'm sure you respect. How can you reconcile that responsibility with your support of a vigilante who isn't bound by any of the same safeguards? Spider-Man is not our enemy. He's a New Yorker like the rest of us, and he's just trying to do what's right. And if you ask me, he couldn't be doing a better job. That doesn't replace my obligations to my community, nor anyone else's who serves in a public role. But I do sleep easier every night knowing that he's out there, helping us all pick up the slack. I'm happy to spend all day arguing why that sleep could easily become a nightmare. But we're out of time. And your approval polls are very high. So I'll just say thank you, Councilwoman. Jared will be sending you some lovely parting gifts, including my J. Jonah Java. The decaf substitute, doctors like mine are insisting they're patients of a certain age drink. If you down it fast, you almost believe it's real coffee. Jameson out.
Friends, my sources say underground activity has subsided significantly, and the Tinker is officially presumed dead. We survived the storm of the century, and our wounds are healing. But New Yorkers must remain ever vigilant. This is the greatest city on earth, which means there will always be lunatics trying to make a name for themselves by disrupting the tranquility of our daily life. One minute you're washing down a delicious everyday bagel with a fresh cup of Pana Fuerte coffee. The next minute, not one, but two masked menaces run by your window. You discover the hard way that scalding hot is great in the cup, but agony in your pants. Well, I for one pledge to continue rallying the public against such prices and anything worse that may yet come. After much reflection and serenity training, I am able to accept that there are now two... Two Spider-Men! Rest assured, I will continue holding them to the highest standard, and will be the first to call them out when they come up short. Which they will. Oh, that is my promise to you. And this is J. Jonah James, signing off. Until next time.
Checking in. Things all good at feast? Firing on all cylinders. Door plumbing truly is a modern miracle. When you coming in to volunteer, kid? Got coffee that needs boring. <laughs> good thing I've been practicing my form. You still got a Wednesday afternoon shift? I'm meeting up with Haley that day. Maybe we can both stop by. Ah, kid, I see how it is. You're trying to look good for the ladies. I approve. Yeah, I'll keep the spot warm for you both. See you next Wednesday. See you then. Weapon steel going down nearby. Thank you, Anonymous Abby. helicopter for you. People are saying it's flying out of control. Mijo, are you at home? I'm doing Spider-Man things. I'm still getting used to that. Reminds me of when I used to call your dad at work. Sometimes I'd catch him on patrol, or he'd have to shout over sirens. You ever call when he was making a bust? One time. He was taking in a felon who'd skip bail. The guy wriggled out of his cuffs and his pants to make a break for it. Your dad had to chase him down fifth. I was on the phone for the whole thing. No way! You serious? Serious? Best part? People took pictures, and it made the bugle. <laughs> Your dad was not happy. Made him the butt of a lot of jokes at the station. But, <laughs> nice one, Ma. I did not mean to do that. Either way, awesome story. So what's up? Did you need something? No, I just wanted to hear your voice and make sure you're okay. I'll let you go. Bye, honey. Love you. Bye. <laughs> 